high in the mountains of California, so it's a ghost town they call Bodie. Nobody lives there anymore. And if you visit there, be respectful of the residents. The ghosts, I mean. If you don't, you might suffer the curse of Bodie. Let me tell you about it. I'm building a 112 scale model of a Sears kit house. These houses were sold between 1908 and 1942 as kits and people would put them together themselves. These houses were very popular with mine owners because they could be built on a wooden frame rather than on a foundation, lowering the cost of construction. Before we get started, I want to take you back 100 years and show you a mining town. Bodie sits in the Bodie Hills just east of the Sierra Nevada mountain range about 75 miles south of Lake Tahoe. I was there some years ago and at an elevation of 8,375 feet, Bodie is 400 feet higher than Machu Picchu in Peru. The temperature can be in the 60s in the daytime and drop well below zero at sundown. You can easily get three to six feet of snow and the snow drifts can be as high as 20 feet. Bodie was named after W.S. Bodie a prospector. Bodie's story began in 1859. Bodie discovered gold and silver in the hills. Shortly after Bodie discovered the gold, he and three other prospectors all died in a violent blizzard. Bodie never saw the town that took his name. The spelling of the town's name was changed, with the word Bodie spelled differently. When a painter who lived in the next town wrote a sign with the incorrect spelling of Bodie, the residents loved the misspelling better than the original word Bodie, and they permanently changed the name of the town to Bodie, B-O-D-I-E. More and more gold was found and more and more people were attracted to Bodie. At its peak, more than 10,000 people lived there. In 1877, the Standard Mine Company produced $784,523 in gold and silver bullion. And in 1877, there was even a non-stop stagecoach that went direct from Carson City, Nevada to Bodie. But with all these people coming to Bodie to look for gold, the town fell victim to becoming a violent Wild West boomtown. The town had a questionable reputation. By 1880, Bodie had no less than 60 saloons. Murder, gambling, prostitution, stagecoach robbing, and gunfights happened on a daily basis. Some of Bodie's bad men and prostitutes didn't make it to the local cemetery. They were buried in what was known as the Bodie Outcast Cemetery. The main street today is eerily silent, and it's impossible not to imagine what Bodie must have been like in its heyday. A noisy, thriving town. Like most towns in the Wild West in the late 1800s, there were gunfights. Bodie had 70 shooting incidents and nearly 30 murders between 1878 and 1882, which translates to a per capita homicide rate 10 times higher of present-day Chicago. By 1881, with most of the gold gone, people began leaving and the population dwindled to around 800, and there was just enough gold and silver to keep the town going for the next 30 years until 19. By the time World War II started and hardships hit, Bodie was abandoned again and this time the population dropped to zero. Bodie's period of glory was short, only lasting between 1879 and 1882. Bodie was a town ravaged by gunfights, murders, logging accidents, savage winters, mining accidents and explosions. A disastrous fire in 1892 and yet another in 1932 destroyed half of the town. Hundreds of people died or were killed in Bodie over the years. With the Bodie Railway abandoned in 1917, residents left with whatever they could carry and what they couldn't carry, they left behind. Old shelves and general stores and bars were left stocked. People left furniture and structures all behind. Today, Bodie is a state park, and you can walk through the old town and listen to the ghosts as they speak through the breeze. But beware, don't try to take any souvenirs when you leave the town. Not a rusty nail, not a shard of glass, not even a stone. They all belong to the residents of Bodie, the ghosts. And it is said, if you take any of their belongings, they will come to haunt you with bad luck and misfortune. People who have taken items from the old town site often return the items saying they had experienced bad luck. The curse of the ghost town they call Bodie. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe because you don't want to miss the next video. I have another interesting story which I'll tell you about at the end of this video, so stick around to the end. So let's get started with painting the floor assembly and attaching the foundation block to our 112 scale model of our Sears Craftsman kit home.
next video, I'll be finishing up the floor assembly by attaching the blocks to the base. I'll also be doing a bit more touch-up painting on the floor assembly. We'll be getting ready to install the floor of our 112th scale model Sears kit home. And in the next video, I'm going to be taking you back 100 years. And I'm going to be telling you about the story of a candy store and a murder. So make sure you like and subscribe. You don't want to miss it. We'll see you in the next video.